On the left, a 3D point cloud is shown that was created using the Stereo Navcam on Perseverance rover from Sol 9 of his Mars mission. I'm showing one of the two source images on the right. To create this point cloud, I tweaked a version of the uncalibrated stereo example included with Booth CV by accounting for the larger image size and attempting to reduce false feature matches. Since it's uncalibrated, the focal length, distortion, and stereo baseline all had to be determined from these two images alone. The current algorithm converges a, to a good solution about 50% of the time, so part of the point of tweaking was to randomize the inputs I gave it in the hope that it would converge to a decent solution. These images are really good quality, and it's actually impressive how much 3D information can be extracted from them. Even distant rocks are recognizable, not just their smear, as I'm showing you in this um, video as I'm panning around. What I'm showing you now is the two rectified stereo images it generated. Using these horizontal and vertical lines, you can tell how good the, um, the rectification was based on if things line up or to left or right of each other. I'm now showing you the sparse features that it selected. So this was done using SIFT, which is a feature detector, and you can see it does a pretty good job. But in order to do this sort of calibration, I have to pretty much get everything perfect.